Good morning and a warm welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. We shall offer this Mass for the following intentions. For the repose of the souls of Rosie of Pereira, for all souls in purgatory, Lily Loretta Kujun, Vincent Velayudam, souls those who died of coronavirus, Keith and Denver, Claremont, Marvis Fernandez, Dominic Arun, Romel of Borivelli from Mumbai, Ruby de Sosa from Bantra, Mumbai, Xavier Pereira, Anthony Fernandez, Saroja K, Anthony Philip White, Marian Calvin de Sosa, de Cruz, John Pinto and Edward Anthony, Soundaraj and Brownie, Zard Chalaya, Rosy Pereira, Romaldino and Mary and Hilda Pinto, Frank Clara and Servilo Santos, John and Elvira Pinto, Rosemary and Eugene Pinto, Tony and Ida Fonseca, Shaurin Rego, Vincent Pinto, Maurice and Catherine Montero, Edward Rocks, Luis Rego and Seraphine Rego, Hilary Rego. We shall offer this Eucharist as Thanksgiving. Sarans of Saras of Bangalore as they celebrate on the feast of their patron Saint Junipero Sera. Elias Morris, Wanda Paul and family. Birthday of Dorothy Fernandez, birthday of Franklin Francis, Thanksgiving by Joseph and Rosaline, Thanksgiving to Mother of Perpetual Help by Sheila Patrick, birthday of Anuradha Rao, Thanksgiving of the Costa family, Thanksgiving by Lionel and Trish, Treasure. Henderson family, Saji Zacharias, thanks to Mother of Perpetual by Mr. and Miss, Mrs. Leo Anthony Devadas, J. Paul Maria Daisy and family, first birthday of Bennett, Thanksgiving by Aunt Rodriguez and family, Thanksgiving on their second anniversary of Prakash, Prakashi and Abhicha Pinto. Birthday of Angeli Nicholas, birthday of Angeli Nicholas. We shall pray for these special intentions for the well being and breakthrough in life of James Sanjay, for the good health of Clement Rosario, good health and safety of Brace Paul and Dr. Ruchi and family, for all the intentions of Don Dissus and family. Special intentions of Nirmal Janaveev for the good health of Ajit Kumar Dungdung, for the good health and well being of Surya Rao and family, DM Dalvi and family, Archana and family, Nayak and family, Barka, Kukrecha, Noel Fernandez and family, Kor Koren and family, Dr. John. Paji and family and all the doctors on the doctor's day. For the good health of Belavender Aaron Chetiar, Betty Fernando, Lawrence Miranda, special intentions and good health of Gerard Saldana, special intentions on our feast day by sister of Sister Esther, for the well being and good health of Maria Ann Benedict. With these intentions, we have our own personal intentions. Let us offer them and participate in this Eucharistic celebration. Tell of his name, 
Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Mass today, we remember all those people who have offered special intentions at this Mass and we begin a new month today, the month of July. And so we ask the Lord today to bless us during this month, to protect each one of us during this month, and to guide us in our way. And as we offer this sacrifice of the month, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Amos Seek God and not evil that you may live And so the Lord, the God of hosts, will be with you as you have said Hate evil and love good And establish justice in the gate it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I despise your feasts, says the Lord, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them, 
and the peace offerings of your fattened animals. I will not look upon them. Take away from me the noise of your songs. To the melody of your harps I will not listen. But let justice roll down like waters and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. The Gospel of the Lord, Praise the Word of the Lord. Thank be to God. Response to Psalm, your response. To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Listen, my people, I will speak. Israel, I will testify against you, for I am God, your God. Response To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. I do not rebuke you from your sacrifices. Your offerings are always before me. I do not take more bullocks from your farms, nor goats from among your herds. To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. For I own all the beasts of the forest, beasts in their thousands on my hills. I know all the birds on the mountains, all that moves in the field belongs to me. To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Were I hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and its fullness is mine. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Response To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. How can you recite my commandments? and take my covenant on your lips, you who despise correction, and cast my words behind you. Response To one whose way is blameless, I will show the salvation of God. Gospel Acclamation Praise the Lord. Alleluia, 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 praise the Lord. Of his own will he brought us forth by the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, when Jesus came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men met him coming out of the tombs so fierce that no one could pass that way. And behold, they cried out, What have you to do with us, O Son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the time? Now a herd of many pigs were feeding at some distance from them, and the demons begged him, saying, If you cast us out 
send us away into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go. So they came out and went into the pigs, and behold, the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea and drowned in the waters. The herdsmen fled and going into the city they told everything, especially what had happened to the demon-possessed men. And behold, all the city came out to meet Jesus and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their region. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, there is a little story told about a girl, a little girl who was with shabby clothes, who was walking down the steps of a cathedral. And just at that time, a passerby, a man who did not believe in religion, a man who did not believe in God at all, he called this little girl to himself and said, If you think that your God loves you very much, and if you think that he is one who cares for you, why does he not tell someone to take care of you and give you better clothes to wear? And the little girl in response, she said, Yes, sir, I think he has told them, but I think they are not listening, or perhaps they have forgotten. And I think that is a very important aspect of our life for anyone what the little child said I think they are not listening it is if it is something to do with them they'll probably listen when it is to do with somebody else and someone's well-being other person's well-being they fail to listen in the first reading today we have God speaking through the prophet Amos and the Lord says a very important line he says I hate your festivals. I hate your solemn assemblies. I hate your coming to, to, to the temple and offering your burnt offering, your cereal offerings and all the other. I detest. My soul detests. Why? He says to them, first things first, let justice roll down like a river and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. Let the well-being of the poor, the well-being of other people be paramount and important. If that is not important, I don't like you to come into my temple and worship me and make all these big offerings to me. In the gospel, we have two men who are possessed by the demon and their condition is rather a harsh as the text says, they were screaming and shouting and they were living in the tombs among the dead, literally. And they, nobody was capable or uh, uh, strong enough to pass that way. They were all scared. And the Lord Jesus comes and these two people, they cry out in anguish about their own life and they ask for healing and the Lord immediately heals them. But in that healing, there is also a financial loss. Now the, the, the demons go into the, uh, the pigs and the pigs um, run down into the water and they are killed. <clears throat> there is certainly a loss. And the people, they are not very happy. They are not very happy that the demon possessed men were relieved of or liberated from their demons. They perhaps say to themselves in their mind, that is their destiny, that is their life, that is where they should live, among the tombs. Now, why bring them out from that position? Now, and uh, but the Lord he is one who is always for the well-being of others. <clears throat> and what did they say to Jesus? They say, go away from here. In other words, they say, perhaps you want to teach us. Perhaps you want to say something to us. Uh, we are not willing to listen. 
just go away and the Lord moves away from that place and it is the same for many of us the great challenge for us is to listen to listen to the Lord no? and sometimes we do not like to listen because it is very hard for us to implement what he says hence whenever we pray we ask the Lord that we should be willing not only to listen but to give us the grace to give us that strength to fulfill and implement his teachings in our life we pray for this gift Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection <clears throat> until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, with Peter our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy Lord, that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall be healed. Be healed. In the body of Christ and in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Jesus is the joy of living, He's the King of life to me. Unto Him my all I'm giving, is forevermore to be. I will do what He commands me, anywhere He leads I'll go. Jesus is the joy of living, He's the dearest friend I know. 